Okay, so we're at the third and final part of this tutorial series. In a new scene, we want to change this to the video editing, or if you've set up your own layout, change it to the, your video editing layout. And what we're going to do is press Shift A and add in our image sequence, or if you've made it as a movie clip, you can bring in your movie, that's fine. I'm going to just add my image sequence. I'm just going to find where it is. And make sure we select what well, I'm going to select the T, the background one, so I'll show you the images. I'm going to select these first. So press A to select everything. And we're going to make sure these settings are the same. So we don't want to make, change these settings, make sure they're fine. So now we've got our first clip. If we scrub through and find the end frame, which is here. On the timeline, if we press E on our keyboard, we can set the end frame. So let's just jump back to the first frame and we want to shift A and add in our second image or a second image sequence which is going to be the and this is going to be the smoke so again if you want to download this it'll be a movie clip so you just add it as a movie clip and we see that it needs masking out so again if you've already mask, masked it you don't need to do the next step that's fine you just composite these two together change this blend type to alpha over We can see it fits there quite nicely apart from this overlap here, so we're going to add that mask that we created. Again, you can download this if you want, I'll throw a link in the description. So if you followed along, this should fit perfectly. I want to select everything and then press G and then Y. I just want to move it up one, one slot. So this new one will be added at the bottom. Shift A, add in our new image sequence and this is going to be the mask. So I'll just show you what it looks like. It's very simple. So press A to select everything and then import that. So if I just isolate these by pressing H to hide them, we can see that the bottom one is the mask, um, then the next one is going to be the background and the top one is going to be the smoke. And what you can do, you can actually name these so you don't get confused, it'll help out in the next step. So I'm just going to name this smoke, I'm just going to rename this uh, background. And then the last one, this is our mask. So we want to select the smoke and then go down to the modifiers, which is all the way down here. We want to add a uh, strip modifier, and this is going to be mask. Scroll down a bit more, and we want to select the, uh, the strip. And we want the strip, obviously, is the mask. And then straight away you can see that the mask is doing what we need it to do. So if we turn it on and off, you can see the difference, which is a big improvement. Again, you can mask it in the uh, the last step, or you could do it here. It's entirely up to you. Um, but now we've got them uh, that masked out, we can uh, change a few things. So we see the smoke, um, it doesn't have a lot of detail. And what we can do, or it's a bit grainy, what we can do is with the smoke selected, if we shift A and add in an effect strip and Gaussian blur, so like I said in the previous step, you can actually blur this out, so it's it's not too bad. So we want to change this blend type back to alpha over. And this is with the Gaussian blur selected. And then we want to increase this blur to whatever you want. So I'm just going to say about 20 by 20. See how that looks. So that blur may help depending on how many samples you used. So I'll just show you the difference with it on and off. Might not be noticeable, depends on how many samples you used when you rendered the last um, step. So it's entirely up to you if you use that or not. So with the smoke selected, we can also increase or reduce the um, we can reduce the opacity, to make it look a little bit lighter if that's what you want. So you've got more control. If you want to go the opposite way and make it look brighter, what you do is go down, and we've got uh, these settings here, which is multiply. If we increase this, it'll make the smoke look yeah, it makes it look a lot more stronger. So it depends on what kind of effect you want to go for, how hot the, the tea is, or <laughs> how cold the room is, I don't know. Go crazy with it, it's entirely up to you. So we want to make sure that the frame rates is the same as what we rendered it out at. And also we can now select this as a H.264, if that's what you want to render your movie clip out as. Also the encoding, if you've got some audio, you want to make sure you select an audio codec. 
Again, I've got no audio, so I don't need to worry about that right now. I don't need to worry about the samples. Make sure you set the file output so you know where it's getting saved to. I'm just going to put this in the project folder. Just name this. So you want to add an adjustment layer and give that um, a bit of color as well. So this is a tutorial. I'll show you how to do that as well if you want to check that out. Um, but the compositing is entirely up to you. Hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.